wanted to be a judge who knows just what is right and wrong and be good and be strong and on my swan up in the air I'm flying searching for justice can't you see me trying right is But because I am a good liar, I know what we can do. Let's hear the judge. Yes, because only our friend Klaus can solve it. I hear the wisdom coming from the gnomes now. And all together we have got the know-how. Because we are people of peace. wing. Are you changing its color? No, I'm not changing her color. I'm helping her. By coloring? How does that help? You see, by applying this color, we're saving her life. It looks just fine to me, Uncle Danny. You wouldn't be kidding us now, would ya? No, this butterfly scraped its wings and was unable to fly. And now she'll be able to fly since you painted her? If I've done a good job, she'll be able to fly soon. Could we paint her any color we wanted to? Like purple with yellow polka dots? Absolutely not, Sally. I'm afraid we have to give her the same blue that Mother Nature created. That's why I'm blending violet petals and linseed oil. You are doing a great job. There, that does it. Let's give him a try. You did it, <laughs> Uncle Danny! Look, Uncle, she's thanking you. You're welcome, little friend. Hi. So long now, you be careful. Bye. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, How are boss. you? Danny was helping that butterfly to fly again. Yes, your Uncle Danny is a man of many talents, like helping Klaus with his legal files. All right, Judge, I know a hint when I hear one. I'll get right on it. Uncle Danny, can you tell me why there's so many different colors in the world? Hmm. No. Then do you have the answer? Well, if you promise not to tell, I'll tell you what the secret book of the gnome says about that very subject. I want to tell us. It's a tale of great magic. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there were no colors. Everything in the world was black and white or gray. And because there was no color, there was no laughter. There was no beauty, no singing, no music. Yes, it was bleak, until one day, a beautiful rainbow appeared in the sky. No one knew what it was or where it came from. The animals were afraid of the unknown. They thought the rainbow could hurt them, so they closed their eyes and refused to look. All except a butterfly, who thought it was important to learn about new things. He thought the rainbow was beautiful and wanted to touch it. So he flew as high as he could and struggled as hard as he could until he finally touched the rainbow. The most remarkable thing happened. The butterfly changed from gray to a beautiful, colorful butterfly. And everywhere he went and everything he touched became full of color. All the animals and the meadows and the trees and flowers and streams, everything became beautiful and colorful. And when everyone opened their eyes, it freed all their senses, and they could all see the colors and hear and taste and experience all the lovely things in the world from that day forward. The world is a better place because of that butterfly. Yeah. That butterfly must have been very courageous to fly all the way to the top of that big, beautiful rainbow. Oh! oh, 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 oh it's a monster! Oh, 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 don't let him get us! Don't let him get us! Wait, there's no need to be afraid. This bat is a friend. That's right, children. There's nothing to be afraid of. This happens to be my old friend Alexis from Transylvania. Oh. Thanks, Alexis, and have a nice flight back. Uh, gnome, skip, boom, 
Can you understand what the message says? Well, to tell you the truth, Danny, my Romanian is a little rusty, but the gist of the message is that the Carpathian gnomes are in trouble and need our help immediately. Oh, oh. Hi. Look there, Danny, the Danube River. Oh, you mean just like in the Blue Danube Waltz? It's beautiful. Is that really the river the song is named for? Yes, there are lots of things that are famous in Romania, Danny. Look huh? up ahead. Yes, there is a legend here in Transylvania that this castle belongs to Count Vlad, the vampire. The legend has it that Count Vlad sleeps in a coffin and has the ability to turn himself into a wolf or a bat and that he only comes out of his castle in the nighttime. Judge, don't tell me scary stories all about vampires and coffins. I won't be able to sleep a wink all night. Look, Danny, it's the welcoming committee. Henry, the bats will show you exactly where to land. Hello, friends. I am Romanov. Welcome to Transylvania. A pleasure Hello, to meet you, for meeting us. We I was afraid that we might have gotten lost. Reception. Klaus, thank you for coming so quickly. When, Romanov? When are you going to tell us what this is all about? It's about the castle. You must have seen it when you were flying in. Yes, of course. Whose castle is it anyway? No one lives there now. It used to belong to a count named Toriak, but he vanished mysteriously, and some feel that his fortune is hidden in the castle. Uh, and now no one lives here? Well, you see, we're not really sure, Danny, because all the gnomes are afraid to go there and find out. Afraid of what, huh? <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing to concern yourself about, Danny. That's just the owls. They're nocturnal. That means they come out at night. <laughs> Can you imagine being scared by a bunch of hoot owls? <laughs> Hello, friends. How are you doing tonight? Please, we have no time to lose, Danny. Okay, okay. Romanov, tell us about your problem. Well, every night, some of our trees disappear from the forest, and every night we see a fire burning in the castle. There's got to be a logical explanation for this mystery. I'm sure you're right, Danny, but we've all been too terrified to investigate. I understand, but you must remember it's just a castle. There's something evil going on in there. Aren't you afraid, Danny? Me? Afraid? <laughs> Do you believe me now? <laughs> Only that's great you've got the gnomes believing you're Dracula. As long as it's good enough to keep them from nosing around the castle. We fooled them good. Let me give them one more thing to remember me by. Don't come near the castle if you value your life. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we doing? This is just like the story I told the children about how fear of the unknown can prevent you from learning the truth. We're letting fear prevent us from learning the truth regarding that castle. No, thank you, Klaus. I have learned all that I want to know about that castle. The judge is right. We've got to stay calm. We can't allow our imaginations to get the best of us. There! You see that? That is the work of Dracula or the devil. You cannot tell me that that happened by itself. <laughs> you are so right, my friend. There is something causing those flames. What we need to find out is exactly who or what is causing them. <laughs> yeah, that should be enough to keep them away. <laughs> That'll keep them out of our hair. Let's get yeah. to work. <laughs> that ought to hold those nosy gnomes. <laughs> well, we've tried just about everywhere. I figure Count Toriak's treasure must be here. The sooner we can find the treasure, the sooner we can get out of here. This place is starting to give me the creeps. 
I'm telling you both, the castle is haunted. This is the work of evil spirits. That doesn't make any sense. There's got to be a rational explanation. I'm telling you, there's nothing living in that castle except maybe a vampire. Oh, now look at that thing, Romanoff, uh -huh. and calm down for crying out loud. That so-called vampire has hardly moved all night. Even spirits have more life than that. Romanoff, I'm sure there's a reason for all these strange doings. Is there anything at all you might have forgotten to mention? Well, now that you mention it, a gnome did report seeing some giant footprints in the forest. Large, monstrous mammoths footprints. They felt that they must belong to some incredibly large creature. Oh, Danny, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh? Yes, Judge, that's exactly what I'm thinking. What's so important anyway? What are you two talking about? They are trolls. That's who I believe is behind all this. We have to figure out why they're doing all this. But what about that vampire there? You've got it all wrong. There's no such thing as vampires. I'm sure of it. That thing hasn't moved since we got here. It's some sort of balloon or kite. They used the fires to create the atmosphere they wanted. That's where all your trees have been disappearing to, to build all their fires for them. There is obviously some reason they are going to all the trouble to scare everyone away from the castle. We just have to figure out exactly what it is. Judge, I just had an idea. Didn't they say there was a treasure buried in that castle somewhere? Magnificent, Danny. I think that you are right. That's it. But what are we going to do? I've got a plan. Here's what we're going to do. Get all your friends and animals together and meet me here tomorrow. Make sure everyone is well rested, because we'll have lots of work ahead of us if we're going to save Transylvania. You can count on my people to be there. My friends, we allowed our imaginations to run away with us. There are no vampires, but merely a couple of wicked trolls who wanted to scare us away. We have been blinded by our fear instead of seeing the truth of the situation. We have been acting like a bunch of big babies. Even though there are no vampires in the castle, there are two trolls that we still have to deal with immediately. It's a toss-up. Who's the worst monster, the vampire or the trolls? These trolls have been successful at scaring you all out of your wits, and the only way to deal with these cads is to trip them up at their own game. That's precisely what we must do. Tell them more, Klaus. Now, the first thing that we must do is... Just a minute. Hold on. I saw that vampire with my own eyes. And we all heard its horrifying screaming. So you saw it with your own eyes and heard it with your own ears. Well, there it is now. Go ahead. Look. Oh, what? What? What's he doing? Oh, it's a kite. Oh, I feel so silly. Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing but a dumb old kite. I feel like an absolute moron. Wait till everyone finds out that we were all afraid of a little old paper kite. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> all right, all right, that's all in the past. Now we need brave gnomes, not ones that are afraid of paper vampires. It will be a lot of work, but I will need the help of each and every one of you to get back at those trolls who tried to frighten all of us. We should all listen to Klaus, my friends. If anyone can lead us in victory against the trolls and teach them a lesson, he can. Teach them a lesson! Who is this? His name is Ludovico. Count Toriak brought him from Brazil. When the Count disappeared, he stayed here and became our friend. This Ludovico must be very familiar with the castle. Judge, listen to this. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> Welcome to my castle! Welcome to my castle! <laughs> 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 He's a good student, this bird. Hey, let me try it again. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> ah, welcome to my castle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Romanov! Excuse huh? me, sir. My children, Ilya and Martina, are nowhere to be found. Mm, now, Martin, when did this happen? Recently, Romanov, I was so busy hiding from the kites that I didn't see the real danger lurking out there in the forest. I know it's those rotten trolls who took the children. Now, don't you worry, Martin. We just have to wait until the sun goes down and it gets dark. Then we'll get your children back. That's right, Martin. As soon as the sun sets, we can put our plan into action. And heaven help them if they've hurt those children. We're right behind you, Klaus. We're not afraid of anything now. Yes! Trolls! <laughs> Shh! Romanoff, you must not let them know we are here. There's <laughs> uh, that yelling again. <laughs> hey, shh! They are going to give away our position. All right, Bats, you have your assignment. Now go! And find the children! Oh, easy now, easy now. You'll get your chance, Ludovico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Those knuckleheads really scare easy. Boy, they're dummies. They're scared of a stupid old kite, huh, Holler? As long as the kite keeps them out there and out of our way. <laughs> Dumb gnomes. <laughs> Let's go, you two! Move quicker! You know what we do with kids who don't work hard enough? We put them into our troll turnip soup. Oh. <laughs> you can do! Let's go for it! Well, my father Let's tie them to the kite and see how they like that. Come back here! We forgot about the moat. What do we do now, Judge? How do we get to the other side? Hmm. I got it. The bats got in, didn't they? Yes, but they flew over. That's right. And we'll do just the same. We will? Yeah. We can use the birds to transport us across the moat. Good. I'll ride Ludovico over. He's a better talker than he is a flyer. Ah! Welcome to my castle, Welcome. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please, let's try to do this as quickly as possible. Hold it, Lodovico. I promise you'll get to say it soon. Mount up. Yeah. Ah. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 you got all the time in the world, kid. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, kid? A little warm in here? <laughs> How'd you like to go for a little spin? <laughs> I never saw a time traveler before. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Quickly now, all of the large birds get inside of the armor. And the rest of the birds go with Danny. Everyone know what they are supposed to do? All set, Your Honor. What sure. do you want me to yep. do, Klaus? Romanoff, I'll need you to help me tie this cord around the candelabras. Klaus, what do we need that for? We're going to create a little magic of our own, all right? Now you remember the plan, you know what to do as soon as Ludovico starts. Don't worry about a thing, Klaus. We'll follow the plan. You right. better get going. Let's go. Hurry! See if we can make time stand still. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> Let me give you some help keeping time. Go to my castle. Uh, this place is haunted. Did you hear what I heard? Who was that? Uh, you go check it out. All right, if you think so. Boy, oh boy, it's kind of spooky in here. I guess it must have been the wind that was blowing. Hey! Hmm. Hmm. Vampires have come! 
I'm telling you, I was almost killed by a scary ghost. Huh? Come on. Hey! <gasps> Quiet, I think I hear them coming. Get ready, Klaus. Careful. Shh. How come I don't see him, Holler? He's right over there. <gasps> don't look now, but that candle's moving away. Don't be oh. such a wimp. He's real scary. You don't know what you're talking about. The candle isn't moving. Look. I tell you, it moved. Uh, uh, but you dumb no. dog. Come on. Let's take a look at this ghost of yours. Genius! <laughs> That's what I call justice, Romanoff. I do a real good impersonation of a spook, <laughs> you huh? Scared me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's the children. Sounds like they're right down this way. Let's go. Father! Ilya! I knew it! I knew you'd come! Martina! I'm so glad to see you. Well, friends, you can all get a good night's rest. Those trolls had a good scare, and they won't be back to bother you. Judge, they didn't even find the buried treasure. I found a note from Count Toriak saying that he took everything with him. I just want to thank you all for helping me to find my children. I can't tell you what it means to me. That was our pleasure. Now there's just one more thing we'd like to do. As we gather here, putting out these fires and looking at that silly kite in the sky that captivated our fear, I hope we all learn something from this. Sometimes your own fears are your own worst enemy. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson from this experience. It just goes to show we shouldn't let fear of the unknown ruin our lives. It's all right to be afraid of things that are truly dangerous. It's important to know what you're afraid of, but try to keep it all in perspective. The important thing is that we got the children back, hmm? We're all afraid of a kite, but at least we got rid of all those trolls, eh? <laughs> Time to send the count packing. In the next episode, our friends Klaus and Danny will answer the call of the Italian gnomes, where they hope they won't be bothered by those awful trolls for a little while. Their visit takes them to the glorious city of Venice, but the beauty around them is shaken by terrible earthquakes. Danny finds out that the tremors are really being caused by trolls. Will our friends be able to clean up the problem for the Italian community? Be sure to join us next time.